So let's talk about strength of oxidizing and reducing agents. So first, perhaps I should remind you what oxidizing and reducing agents are. An oxidizing agent is something that's reduced, okay? So we're talking about how easily something can be reduced, okay? If it's an oxidizing agent, by being reduced, it causes the other thing to be oxidized. Reducing thing is the thing that's oxidized. Okay, so remember they're, they're opposite. Okay, you got to get those definitions straight to get the rest of this. So let's look again at this table, okay? Um, remember again, it's set up as reduction potential. So this particular one, everything is written as a reduction. Um, this table could just as easily have been made upside down and often is and been written as standard oxidation potentials, okay? But as it is, they're written as reduction potentials. And you can see that as you go down, the numbers are becoming more and more positive. So the, the reductions are becoming more and more likely. Like, there's no way that Li plus is going to turn into Li. But down here, F2 turns into F, min F minus very easily. Okay, so the in they're increasing in likelihood of being reduced. Or we say that they're increasing in the strength of the oxidizing agent. Okay. Um, if these, so the opposite is true. If um, as I go down, if they become better and better at getting uh, reduced or becoming oxidizing agent, they get worse and worse at becoming oxidized or being reducing agents. So as I go up, they become better and better reducing agents. Okay. As I go up, they become more and more likely to get oxidized or have the reverse reaction occur. Li going to Li plus plus an electron would have a voltage of plus 0.304. So that's really, really likely to happen. Down here, not so much. So sometimes this table is drawn right here. It's just a square. It represents the table. And in the upper right-hand corner is an R, the strongest reducing agent. And the bottom left-hand corner is um, an O, and that's the strongest oxidizing agent. So what that means is, on this table, F2 is the strongest oxidizing agent or the most likely to be reduced. Okay? Lithium, okay, top right, is the best reducing agent or the most likely to be oxidized. Okay? The easiest to oxidize, the hardest to reduce. Okay? That's just another way of looking at what we said there. So let's look at these five things, okay, and again, you're going to need your table of um, standard reduction potentials, and let's see if we can classify them as oxidizing agents or reducing agents, and then um, arrange them sort of from best oxidizing agents to worst oxidizing agents, that kind of thing. So what you want to do is you want to look in that table, and you want to find the half reaction that has permanganate in it. So if you hunt around you'll find the half reaction is MnO4 minus plus 8H plus plus 5 electrons goes to Mn2 plus plus 4H2O. Okay, this is a reduction. Okay, that means that MnO4 is being reduced. That means it's an oxidizing agent. So when I say MnO4 is a good oxidizing agent, I'm saying it's likely to get reduced. Okay? For I-, minus, when you go looking for that, you'll find it in this reaction. Well, half reaction, right? 2I-. minus. Okay? But it's over here. Okay? So it's not being reduced. All right? It's actually... I2 is the thing that's being reduced, right? So this is the oxidizing agent. Okay, this is more likely to get oxidized. So I minus is a reducing agent. Okay, that just means that I minus is not going to get reduced. It's going to get oxidized. If it's part of an equation, it will always be oxidized, not reduced. So if we keep going, NO3 minus. Okay, you'll find 4H plus plus three electrons gives you NO plus two H2O. So again, 
that's a minus. This is over here. It's being reduced, so NO3 minus is an oxidizing agent. Again, it just means NO3 minus is being reduced. Um, you can find S plus 2H plus plus 2 electrons gives you H2S. Okay, again, H2S is over here. That means it's a reducing agent. Okay. Now, interestingly enough, you're going to find two half reactions for Fe2+, because Fe2+, can gain two electrons and become Fe, but it can also be produced by Fe3+, plus one electron, gives me Fe2+. So Fe2+, can be both an oxidizing agent, okay, in this case, or a reducing agent, in this case. Okay, so what we're going to do on the next page is list all of our oxidizing agents and reducing agents and see if we can rank them. So the oxidizing agents that we found um, were MnO4 minus, okay, NO3 minus, and Fe2 plus, because that was both. And the reducing agents we found were, uh, let's see, I minus, H2S and Fe2 plus. So now what we want to do is see if we can arrange these oxidizing agents in order of increasing strength. So in order to do that we have to go ahead and look at our reduction potentials. Okay, so I look up my reduction potential from that table for permanganate and it's 1.512 volts. Okay, the standard reduction potential for NO3 minus is 0.964 volts. Okay, you can follow along on the table if you want. And the standard reduction potential for Fe2 plus is negative 0.409 oops, oh, 9 volts. So we want to put them in order of increasing strength as an oxidizing agent. Well, remember, more positive is stronger. More negative is less likely to happen. So Fe2 plus is the weakest of those three, um, and it's weaker than NO3 minus, and it's weaker than MnO4 minus. For the reducing, reducing agents, now I have to find the standard oxidizing potential. So you have to take the one on the table and you have to reverse it. So it, you'll see 0.534, so it's going to be negative 0.534 right because we're talking about it being oxidized and the one on the table is written as a reduction uh, H2S okay again standard oxidized potential is going to be negative 0.144 volts and for Fe2 plus is negative 0.769 volts so it looks like actually these are all kinda crappy reducing agents they're all negative so what we have to do is say, okay, so they're crappy, but which one is the strongest of the weakest of them? <laughs> so the most negative number there is going to be the weakest. So Fe2 plus is a worse reducing agent than I minus, which is worse than H2S. Okay, and that's, uh, we'll, we'll do some more of this, but it's basically just saying who's more likely to be oxidized and reduced, and you just compare their... Um, their voltages.